Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Let time choose for you. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome for the first time to the Stanley Ultimate Deluxe Mega Super Enhanced Edition. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I stopped here because I thought this is where the content would start. And uh, I, I've played it before, but it's been so long I might just say no. We're just going to go into it like we're, like we're new. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Looks like it's barely visible over on the recording. Um, if you die of an allergic reaction, you give your <laughs> permission to make 3 a.m. content. Oh my goodness. Oh man, enter the current time. Oh, what is it? 719? But it's PM. I I'm surprised it doesn't get the system time. Cool. Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okay. Oh, we've been really digging that game too. It's so much bigger than I thought. All right, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. There's supposed to be a narrator. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. That's what I do for work. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Say Pink Ninja. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. I figured it something out. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Hmm. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, well, it's 10, uh, it's 1057. So there's, um, there's achievements in this game too. You can't jump. <laughs> I got an achievement called, you can't jump. It would be fun to make a mod and just all do all the voiceover lines. Gone. What could it mean? I've been thinking about decided doing... to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I'll, I'll follow his instructions for the first playthrough. What is that? I like work. I like. I I just hate my boss. Oh, I like work. I just hate my boss. All right, don't quote me on that one. I like my boss at my job. Thank you very much. Sir, name access. What does that mug say? F U E Be my Valentine? Well, this is so real. I mean, this is really like what it what it is. I hate Mondays. I think it was a mug that said fuel, because there was another one there. So there's gotta be. When Stanley came to a set of two mm. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Door on my left. 413. Man, imagine not knowing about COVID. Like, imagine being sick, like really sick on medical leave or something for like three weeks and your whole company packed up and left because of COVID and you didn't get the memo and you showed up to work. This is what it would feel Yet, like. There was not a single person here either. Feeling hmm. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you, and take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Let it ball up inside you. Yes. Yes, that is. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure 
Okay, everyone is unique. You, most of all. Oh, it's so sarcastic. It's so sarcastic, I love it. Oh man, give me more slides. Give me more, give me more. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, charts and slides, slides. Look at all this stuff too. What do people want? Things? Happy, happy feelings? <laughs> Violet James, you are fired. Oh man. <laughs> money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs, graphs about things and money. We have our product. Oh my goodness. Amazing. All right, let's let's mosey on. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay, okay. There's got to be an ending. So there's a lot of endings here. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alrighty. Get the broom closet ending? I'll, I'll try. I will, I will try my best. Next, next run. What is this? Oh. Oh, an exec- because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay. He has an extreme bathrooms magazine in his bathroom. Also, that's quite a window, man. That's quite a low window for, for a toilet. I know we're on like the however much floors this building has, probably near the top. But still. What are you reading? The beige pages? You guys, were you guys around for the yellow pages? What's in here? Oh, I can see through the crack. There's a pixel. There's a pixel gap. Somebody exploit it. All right. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What an Shocked, office. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What wow. he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Uh -huh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Uh-huh. Of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct oh. code by sheer luck. Now Amazing. we're getting up there. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Helmet does. Hel what, what did I miss? I was opening a soda. It's actually a sparkling water. I don't know why I just lied to you guys. It is a soda, right? Soda water is the base, so if it has fizz, it's soda. Doesn't need all the sugary stuff. This looks like a pit of despair that I I don't want to oh okay there's a floor I it just didn't look like there was a floor I can't imagine playing this any darker than it currently is and I love the loading screens too. descending deeper into the building Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar it was a stirring of emotion in his chest as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job. Yeah. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? The this question up. would not go unanswered for long. Excuse me? Whoa, that is tall. What are we in some kind of a huge basement? An unfinished Stanley thing? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. Oh, that's a big button. Oh, it's a big button. Oh, yeah. Oh, the lights oh, rose on yeah. an enormous room packed with television screens. Hey, it's Cerebro. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Mind control room. It's definitely Cerebro. Pretty sure Valve is saying that the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe and the X-Men Universe are, are part of the Valve Universe. Now the monitors Bro, came to set up. their true nature revealed. Each oh, bore the number oh, of an employee. Oh, where was ours? Fourth, is that ours? The lives of so many individuals. I didn't see which one was. Images on a screen. 427. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom and. 427 is us, right? 427. I think that's us. Yeah, boy, we had a dark office. What's the deal with that? Man, getting some aperture vibes here. Yeah. Oh, what's up with that one? 
want to know. Oh! This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. No. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? I mean, was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. That's he not couldn't true. couldn't accept it. Uh -uh, his nope, own life be. in someone else's control? Nah. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? No, Had no, he truly no. spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No, can't be. Couldn't be. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Mind control. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power no. over another human life. Couldn't do that. For he Console disabled. would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh yeah, down with the man. Get out of here, man. Okay, what can I walk down into this pit? This is a pit of despair if I've ever seen one. Okay, well. Let's disable it. What does this button do? Five? Do I have to push it five times? That's gotta be something. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be something currently. Mind controls idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. But if I turn it on, maybe I'll just be mind controlled again and be really happy doing my job, right? There's a really deep question there, actually. Thank you for the lurk button. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Uh, yeah, it is some blue pill stuff right there. Yeah. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Get out of here, machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Yeah, 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 yet, Matrix, I got you. Even as I the got immense you. doors... We don't really talk open, a lot of politics Stanley here. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. I'm not opposed Where to talking about politics, but we just gone. don't tend to. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Oh. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps You're his not goal had it. not been to understand, but to let go. It's no nice longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. Mm. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Mm. Stanley stepped through the open door. Yeah, all because he guessed the super secret pin number. One out of ten thousand. felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Not controlling The feeling anymore. of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley hmm. was happy. Yeah, Stanley. Stanley the manly. I cannot stay for long, sadly, but you're here. What's up, Hollow? Well, achievement unlocked. Beat the game. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. This has been the Stanley Parable Ultimate Super Mega Deluxe Amazing Wonderful Extended Edition. And uh, that's it. We beat the game. So see you guys next time. Okay, uh, 427. So it was our little dingy office in the corner and it's still 1057. So speedrun strats. Okay. Oh, thank you for contributing All of to the workers were gone. What could it mean? Team Chill Community Stanley Game decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Eh. Eh. 
At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of oh, video I game will. structure I'm gonna, and its I'm gonna examination put the outro of structural in. narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? No, it's not. Why I want to go take back. A just to drink it all in. Load the map. Okay, I'm over Give me now. some textures. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Give me the texture. Oh. You know what? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. Oh, now, here boy. comes the real question. Hope you guys are ready. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Oh. Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if oh. I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. This is so meta. Oh, now, I love this game. It. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. It would. What if the other option is even longer? Mm. How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? I hate oh, it. And this is rich. I'm in this picture Perhaps and I don't like it. you played the other option. And oh. now you've come to see what happens in this one. Uh. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? I don't Imagine like this. Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough. What's up, Nerdy Gamer Thank you for the lurk. it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Mm. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. I'm not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Okay, we picked the well, bad one. I built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Wait. Wait. The game doesn't restart. We can't. We have to manually restart the game. Oh, oh you narrator man! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan no decided jumping, to go so. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, do it again At and first, say yes. Daniel I'm way ahead of you. The map until he heard this narration all and realized right, it was part right. of the game's design. I am so alone. equally torn. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary I am into so the nature torn of video between, game structure on the one and hand, its examination I'm of so curious, I gotta know. Tropes. And on the other so, hand, now that I you're don't here, want him you to think? be right. Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Without the perspective of the okay, windows there, I, I feel so now. like what weird. Do you Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh, yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Okay. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Could have. Now would also nah. be an appropriate time to it's quit. Not, I, I won't any quit till you stop talking. so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going Ugh. on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. I so hate this, to push too. The envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable oh, as possible no. and see how long you can maintain. This is the worst. Oh. This is nice. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. Hmm. But the truth Stanley must be manly. told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. Hey, you take that back. What Stanley liked most was buttons. Hmm. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. I do like buttons. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long ceased to function. That is so rude. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Am I secretly Korean? You too will become quite unbearable. Quite unbearable. Why am I secretly Korean? I was Iskal yesterday. I could be Korean today. Is the narrator secretly Korean? Is it just because he's British? Oh, white infinity room. Ah. Oh, this is so nice though. I can just put this on and go to sleep. Then I could have one of those, like, sleep streams where all my alerts are super loud and they wake me up. Okay, I think this repeats forever. 
and I'm not willing to sit around any longer to find out. So let's start again. And uh, I think that was one of All the achievements in gone. the first what game. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, maybe I didn't miss a memo, mister. Ooh, does this open? 420? Huh? 420? Awaiting input. Input received? Oh, I did it. I did an input. How do I do more inputs? 419. Okay. Still nothing. Oh, I'm gonna have Stanley to go through around all touching these. every little thing in the office, but it didn't make Darn a single right. difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. You better believe I'm touching no every matter single how thing. Hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, we've touched everything. Oh, it just did input input one out of five. Input received one. Wonder if I have to do the other ones first. Stanley okay. came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the one on the right. You gotta press the computers in a specific this was order. Not the correct I way see. to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Darn Perhaps right. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I do. I, I like lounging. Why does that oh that's a door. I was like, why does that window go all the way down? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Openings. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to huh? spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Two hours later. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. Hey, I'm digging room it. room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Right. Really worth it. It's really, you know. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Mm. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Hey, that's rude. You take that back, Mr. Narrator. Okay, I don't really. Coffee nut? That's me. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. All right, all right. Let's go on. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. How about no? How about I'm not going to obey anything you're telling me to do this time, Stanley neither. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Well, we need a key card for that. Do you think we can get a key card now? I have this? Can I jump? But I can jump. Look, Stanley, I bet that's an I think ending. Perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. That's because I'm the main There's character. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Zero. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. No. To show you something beautiful. The last time you, quote, me showed me it. something beautiful, me you made me go I'm outside and touch grass. Give me a chance. And I don't appreciate that. Thank you very much. I mean... <laughs> Heck you, narrator, we're going our own way. That's right. Two before, two be five. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Nah, I'm gonna make a liar out of you. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I don't think so. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Aha. Stanley uh -huh. walked through the red. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Uh -oh. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies in the end of this of the road? You've really chosen creepy. world. Don't let me stop you. I won't. You can't you stop see? me. There's nothing here. Oh boy. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. 
Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. No, nope, that's Broken not rooms, it. exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? Mm. What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Yeah. Work with me. You give I'm me down. absolutely nothing so far. Zip lines would Tell be cool. What? Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. I will, yeah. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Yeah, I'm doing ahead, it. Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh, but he told me to. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me uh... about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? I'm gonna say... Feel free to be no, honest. I, I'm I... looking for some real critical feedback here. All right. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? A one? That's not yes. even helpful. What am I it supposed is, to no. do with that? Well, I could write uh, in a little box. I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've uh -oh. compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Knocked Let's it out of the park with this one. Oh, yes. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know about these uh, these textures. Oh, first. I wonder if these are real usernames or if this is a, a texture. I doubt it. 21.3% um, of players skipped the intro sequence. Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. 98.9... Oh, no. This is me. Oh, my goodness. Is it 737? No, it's not. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's go through this door this time. It's the same. No. Would you oh, say it's not that the same. competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, mm. please. Not not into the leaderboard so hey, much. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Hey, I'm down. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Got to be better Perfect. than this thing. Wait, this button still lit up. Oh. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Oh. You click the button to move him back to the right. And oh. if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Oh my goodness. I think the art world will really take notice. You know what the art world would really take notice of? the message of the game of? only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Oh so boy. why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? All Be right. sure to keep notes on your experience. I'm going to throw a macro on real quick. I feel it. No, we don't need four hours of this. I feel it already. No. Oh. oh, baby, I'm sorry. You're just too tedious. Uh-uh, nope, goodbye. You heartless Hey, watch your profanity. Did you do it because you babies or purely to spite me? Uh, it's because just if for it's you. Because well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. He looks fine. I'm not even going to try. I'm that out. baby is Jack-Jack. It's over. You get Thank an you achievement for playing, for playing this Your for four hours. Extremely valuable. Oh. oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Yeah, throw us Let's into see. like a Mojang game. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it will Half-Life work. will be Let's fun. Give it a shot. Beat Saber. Hades. Get some Hades up in here. <gasps> uh -huh. Oh, Firewatch. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Oh. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Oh, Perhaps for a, some sort of exactly. twisted erotic purpose. Not, hmm. not, no. Yeah, that must be it. What a fascinating venture Facebook. into the experience of total mental depravity. So it's far, the original I love Minecraft, everything really? about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. 
Oh, Firewatch. So relaxing. I've been wanting to play this for so long, and I just haven't. This would be a really relaxing one to do on stream. Oh, I went the wrong way. Of course I went the wrong way. Lurk ghost hunting? Alright, have fun in Phasma. Firewatch. Oh, I'll have to play it on stream. It's this game. It's this one. You're in a, a tower over a fire season, watching out in the wilderness, and you have a radio to communicate with the... with your boss, manager, or...? Oh... And it's just so relaxing it like this. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. Oh. oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That Aww. big open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh. oh. thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. No, Let's find game. let me enjoy the relaxing wilderness of Firewatch. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. I do, I do want to play Firewatch. On oh, it's Rocket League! Let's go! Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice yes! big box for you to run around in. There oh isn't any goodness. possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. I love it. Stanley, I love if it. If you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. We have the sound effects all ready to go for it. Oh, so good. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? I mean, Stanley, pretty I much. think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Oh, fun. We should run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes. Yes, I think surely we must. Well, I forget okay, how Stanley. big is this thing is, because normally you're a car. <sighs> Can we score it, you think? I, uh, oh, no. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Oh, we should How have scored the ball. How would you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Uh huh. Narrator, save us. Okay, more falling. Yep. Uh huh. That's good. 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 Can't see a thing. Oh, okay. What are we in the aperture science labs now? Just looking for where we can fall through into the ground. It is so dark. How do you see anything in here? Man, we didn't need him anyways. He was mean. So true. So very true. Okay. I can't see much because I have these lights blinding me. It's not even illuminating my face very well. It's just blinding me. So next time somebody says, get the bright lights. Nah, don't get the bright lights. Do anything but get the bright light. Uh, we started here, right? So, let's just keep going around to the right. We'll stay on the right wall. And then if we do a full lap... Oh! There's a light over there. Oh, ooh! That's some new looking tech for an old looking office. In the original, the Rocket League area was actually Portal. Yeah, I, I remember vaguely some of the endings. I just don't remember. What are they? 427, this is my office. Or an old version of my office. Is it 3 a.m.? It's 1. On something. Okay, I don't know what to do down here. I might just have to restart. Oh, okay. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. Mm -hmm. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Mm -hmm. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. 
The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I know why my lights are all wacky. I know why they're wacky. One second. Oh, that's so much better. Because my big room light was on. Why did nobody tell me? It's okay. Nobody knew. I, I get you. Okay, that was interesting. Is there a tree well, where we can start gone. from where we were before? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, it's not on this time. Oh, there's a guy over there. There was a... Did you see the guy walk by? Excuse me? Wait, is this circular now? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his there was. There was a There was a guy walking around. Dude, I'm going crazy. You guys saw him, right? It wasn't just me. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. I should have checked if we could, uh... I should have okay, checked so if we exactly could go up the walls. Do, we do, here? do a sick uh, ceiling shot flip of reset. Cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, sports ball? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. Oh, yes, Stanley. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely I'm we ready. Must. I'm ready okay, for it. Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, well, indeed. We're going to score a goal. We're going to do it. Oh my goodness. We're going to whip it like we do in regular Rocket League. Are you I can doing feel it? it. Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Go in the hole. Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, uh -oh. then I'm surely faster multiple now. balls makes for an even more I'm euphoric very fast. sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yeah, yeah, I'm going yes. so fast now. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Hit me with Stanley, an air I'm like or a something. child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's like let the mirror play in Rocket League. Ask to myself. Double touch. Oh, look at that. I'm literally better at this than I am at Rocket League. Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game. They really did. Yeah. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. <laughs> and since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now all I don't want to play with ruined. you either. So goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Uh, might. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. Somehow, I think knows. I will. You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. What do the signs say now that we can read them without being in a game? I think it actually is Rocket League. Ideas, dice. Time to slam a, sh a shlibli. A spleebly. I think that's it, right? There's no other ones? I think that's it. Okay, and then this ending, I'm assuming, will be the same as the other one. So, I think we can just restart from here. Although, I do want to see where this goes. Because it looks like there's an opening in the side, maybe? Right here? Oh, there is, but there's not. Interesting. Okay. Well, that, that'll do it. I'll, I'll restart this one uh, because we've already fallen down the hole. And we don't need to do that again. So now let's look for the next How input wonderful. computer. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. I want to look for that I guy that walked by before. He was I over here. What I wanted. What does that say? I need a zoom in thing. Whoa, hey, Pink Ninja. Thank you for gifting a sub to the community. Oh, and you gave it to Nerdy Gamer Gal. Awesome. Keep it dry. 
And where are you, you little computer? I need to input a thing. Yeah, I didn't see it yet. It's gotta be over here. Oh, it was random. Oh, that's Stanley awesome. came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay, we'll go to the one on my left. That's fine. I don't know where the other computers are for inputs. It might be through the regular yeah, there way. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Talk less. Stanley decided to go work up to his boss's office. All the time, every day, with no exception. An answer there. Room closet ending? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Well, oh. how you guys doing? I kind of got a. What is in my camera? Oh, it's it's to the edge of my camera. I shortened my camera to what is this? Four by three. Five by four. I think it's four by three. Because I just had all this extra space on the sides that I didn't need. You guys don't need to see my arms outstretched and on the rare occasion that I T-pose for dominance. And if I need to, I can just go I can just get up over here and I can just I can just T-pose for dominance back here. Boom. Look at that. Amazing. I have so much space now. I, I feel like my last studio in, in the last house that we were at. You don't have the ASDF neon sign? Yeah, I could zoom out a little bit so I can get the key light and the other one and the ASDF sign and then I could angle this down a little. I do like having the ASDF sign in view, so maybe we'll have it like that. Is that better? Looks better. Feels better. So, yeah, that's better. Um, I don't think he's going to say anything. I think I, I think this is it. So, all right, we'll go down this Coming time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh, secret paper? Nah. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Mm. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. There's a thought. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence oh, in a we're single in a loop. moment. We're in a loop. No reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. This and is as scary spooky one. This, he began to make other strange observations. For example, oh, why boy. couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever feet. he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty I familiar. Can't feel my feet. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Ah. Yeah. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't mm. crazy after all. A nice he feeling. To himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, Ooh. he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. I was already floating then above. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was uh, so much fun, and Stanley uh, marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then it? perhaps the strangest Damn question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah, that's true. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. Dude, thought. that's, that's about as meta as I can think about. Odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Music's was Stanley good, simply though. deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now 
as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. Hmm. Oh, so we're back to the car. his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the hmm. mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Ah, uh, yes. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Mm. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife Family and my way. job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. No, Stanley had a wife. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Hmm. But Stanley was not okay. And when he opened Stanley his eyes, Stanley began oh. screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, no. just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She only has a crisis. She gathered her belongings and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh no. And though she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. True. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. You just keep it telling yourself that, to think Mary. This. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Mm. And then she turned and ran. Well, we done killed Stanley. We made him have a massive panic attack. What's on our phone? There's a button. Okay, let's find that computer. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed this a one. I think it's... There's got to be another one with the input that we just missed. It was the, oh, we only found two of them. I've been checking doors. When Stanley okay, let's go came to the one to on the two open doors, right, he entered the door on his left. We can still go up to the boss's office. This there might be some branches up to that the way. Room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The that was lounge a crazy was sublime, ending. a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, let's go this way. Let's take the thing all the way over first. Stanley was so bad at oh, following the lighting directions, changed. it's Weird. incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, do not jump. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, a thousand. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, five thousand. Danger, vent access for trained employees only. Climb at your own risk. 
vent access? Can I climb this? Oh. 9514? 9514. I think we'll get an option to plug that in. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize oh, that investing your there? trust in someone else can be difficult, it's but the fact be a way. is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's got to be a way to There's get into that vent. Been neglecting, Stanley. Someone I just don't know how from about. here. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Jump on the catwalk and go through the other door. Um, that, well, that one's shut. So... Oh, you mean the one, like, on the right or the left? Yeah. Well, the other this thing is, is we can't jump. Your chance to redeem yourself. So to it's really hard to get up aside, anywhere. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Her? Who her? Who do be her? This game makes no sense. It might put you up on the higher catwalk. Oh, I see. Yeah, maybe. Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. Oh, if I no, no, I no, no, you can't. Did you just unplug the phone? Unplug the phone. Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> you actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. He was probably going to say you need to choose whether to answer no, or not. It's <laughs> definitely here, it. clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. We the Not phone. picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Oh, I don't no. understand. Little Big Planet. How are you making I don't think I ever choices? played Little Big Planet. What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. I not it. noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I oh, can't we've been believe caught. I was so mistaken. This uh -oh. is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to the think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, it you might have negated it parable. entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Yo. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional boy. video. Oh boy. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Get demonetized but if on used YouTube incorrectly, for this one. can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person. read which choice would you make it remember off. that unlike here the ending. real world makes sense and at no time should What's you that, make Yoshi? a choice that does not conform to rational logic if you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense in all likelihood that person is not real Me allow too. the person to finish their thought <laughs> then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking <laughs> turn to a partner and practice saying my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. I'm supposed to be having a back sack and Excellent. crack. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Okay. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant That's and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah. Welcome back. Uh, thanks. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not uh -huh. to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I can't even. No I can't jump off this time. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Uh, Imagine the main character dying. I was gonna check and see, but I don't think I can get off that story this now. Would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. There's fences on everything. I don't even think I can squeeze through this way now. Yeah, I can't get out of here. 9514. Oh, you know what? I bet it's this chair. I bet when I bet when we go up to it at first we can I thought I messed around with the chair, but I bet that's it. Because that's the only thing I can think of that would do it. You talking caps too much? Nah, it's all good. Helps me see it. When it's relevant to the... Like, when it's relevant to a particular moment in time. Especially the stream delay. Helps me see it. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again. And you'll uh, be home free in the real world. For comedic world. reasons? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What if I go on the right one now? No! Why did you do that? Oh, Quickly, oh, boy. hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What even is this place? This is, this is starting to look like super liminal. Oh, man. Okay. Is this my new favorite ending? Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worthless now! I'm so flustered. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. It's so plastic. The answer, what do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. I was trying to get through that door in the end, but I couldn't get up over the table. Okay. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here what in this pile of rubbish. This? With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? I mean, he actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a good reason for it. Hey, watch your profanity that thought there, hadn't Mr. Even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. What are you? You watch didn't get your way. My story. Sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried oh, so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Well, you I'm know we gotta sure go you'll be up through to the, the one on the right. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. I'll be All fine. Right. Yep. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Dude, the whole game's gonna crash. Exactly as Stanley would. This is that amazing. Means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Let right. me in! <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of ah. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But if I'm facing backwards, this is the door on my left. 
No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Okay, they're gonna, uh, they're just gonna Stay keep looping exactly it. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, all right. ASDF logic. Hey, I mean, when I turned around, it was the door on my left. I'm surprised they didn't program for that. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. The broom closet's locked. Coming to a staircase, Can't even go downstairs. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No! Oh, I'm locked into this storyline. Can I even get into the executive bathroom? The executive bathroom's closed. I kind of do need to go to the bathroom, too. Is the pixel gap still there? It is. It reminds me of Hyperlight Drift. Oh, office, this is different now. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, oh. Stanley wondered in disbelief That's who dark. orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Wow, that's really and dark. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code it to open the yeah, door? Yeah, yeah. Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But I must now, speak up. He would draw from within himself to hear his the voice. courage to face the unknown. The voice of Stanley, he the drew protagonist. A sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Uh, British accent. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. No, got nothing. I got nothing. It's not I'm helpful sorry, at all. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you Under know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The Stanley kind can't of respect speak, though. Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to I'm show the most you, then why boss. did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. I why did you heck? come this way? Thank you very speak. Much. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. Oh, oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. The end. I need you to walk through the door. The Stanley Parable Ultra everything. Deluxe. We got the title. Me? Is everything alright? And the credits. Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Aww. Do something. Anything. This is more important. Wait, this is me with you Unity. Know. I need this. The story oh, Rocket League's being remade in Unreal. I was like, you, did they get a Rocket League remake in Unity before Rocket League did? Are you listening to this, Danny? Are you there? This is so sad. Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Oh, no. Take as much time as you need. Oh, no. Poor narrator. Wow, okay, I gotta be right back.
What what were Someone we doing? Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. What? Someone's following me now? Ooh, what? What? Can we make the narrator laugh? We could try. Who's following me, though? Wait, are there, like, things in the corner of my eye that I, like, can't see? When Stanley came to a set of two okay. open doors, we he need to... the door on his left. We've gone left and then down. We can go back up to the office. Was there any... Were there any choices beyond that, though? I don't think so. This was not the Let's correct go on the one on the, the right. Room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Go through the Perhaps lounge. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Why are we being followed, though? Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first but eager to get oh, back to business. Oh, I understood true happiness. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I missed an opportunity to do We still haven't gone that way, but let's try to go Stanley over so this ledge with this chair. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Let's see if we can glitch onto the chair here. Let's see if we can get up onto this. I don't know if we can. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Like, there's got to be a way to glitch up onto the thing, right? I just don't... I don't know. I don't know if there is. Because there's a thing. It's it, There's a thing. There's a warning label right here. Vent access for employee, trained employees only. What if we just, like, sneak over like this? Oh... <gasps> Oh, I have never been down here. Oh, oh, this is what I'm talking about. Now Stanley we're going to Freeman. Stanley had gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so. Oh. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation yeah, I, I, that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been died. through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. Oh, it must be man. so simple to be you. They are just Life poking being fun an unending everything. waterfall of surprises and delights. How oh, much more goodness. exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> No, now we made him sad, sad again. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. No. No being sad, narrator. Oh. oh. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. What's with all the papers? Also, where where did the computers with the inputs go? We did that one last time. I don't know. I just don't know. When Stanley came to a set uh, of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Rip trees, their sacrifice created paper land. I think every time we do a new ending, there's a different feature in the main room. That's my theory. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided the broom closet. to go up to his it's boss's totally office, boarded up. hoping he might find an answer there. What were, the, what were the numbers? Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What were the numbers? 9514? think was on the thing.
Okay. On the boxes, right? Oh, we can go this way. Uh oh. Oh, there's an elevator over here. I don't know which way it's gonna go now. Oh, oh. A glowing document, eh? Well, I guess we can go up. We haven't gone up before. How long does this go for? Naruto likes this me. I know he was chilling. Wait. Uh. What if we go down? Is it just gonna be more music? Stanley. 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 Ooh, Stanley. Okay, well, oh, oh, wait. Oh, I thought there was going to be a secret with the plant. Indoors monthly. Oh my goodness. Okay. You said that I could exit before the door is closed or something? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. 2845. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. What if we just keep getting it wrong? It's Stanley possible and it gets mad. Ah. His thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination there was you go, 2845. That's for you. I know he's lurking playing ghost stories, but... 2845 2 But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in and the door just opened all by <laughs> the panel's itself. emergency and override is just the story. Well, whoop de do. Two, eight, four, five. Okay, but the door already opened. This one doesn't close behind me. Okay, this is uh, this is the creepy mind control room ending, right? I want to go up. I want to go up. I want to go up. I don't know if there's any other branches past here. There was that five button, and I don't know what that does. There's this, too. I don't know what this does, either. Stanley walked straight ahead through oh, the large the escape. door that read Mind Control Facility. I totally forgot about this. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, well, that's exciting. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nah. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Gotta confront it. Oh, that's ominous. Oh, look at the door. Oh, yes. Give me that sweet, sweet release. But Stanley did not die. Instead, oh boy. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected you know, that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. This is somehow Stanley worse. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. 
He doesn't know the This is somehow story. worse than falling to my death. Ever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was a You know what this reminds loss, me of too with the narrator? Manual Samuel. And so he resigned and yeah. willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. That's a very very similar that thing. Stabbing. Oh, that thing gets smushed. Oh, well, nice knowing you guys. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, narrator as Stanley was led helplessly two. into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. The narrator's him narrator. Instantly. I like the little... And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Mm. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When oh. every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Office layout. So this is all there is in the office. Wow. The office. One, two, three. Uh, button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game. I like this. This is cool. the one on button five where's ultra deluxe i like this this is fun get to see all the textures office computers that man is playing galaga another version of the credits this is so cool you guys want some music War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and, and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it, it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Wow, that's like Tron slash Subnautica vibes right there. Alien base. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like the precursor base meets like Counter Strike. Thought we wouldn't notice the music. From Dink Dunk, subject gay. Are you gay? Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these for further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh, de okay. Dear narrator, how will the Stanley Parable have infinite quests? How many endings? If the Stanley Parable is really going to let me go shopping, I hope it will have a fine selection of desert boots. Some questions. How do you make a JRPG? How do you make a worst game ever? What is the difference between a duck? Good to know. Oh, there's a sign saying the Stanley Parable. Oh, yeah, not Ultra Deluxe, got it. How is the games? How is the game going? It, I hope it is as good or better than the first one. Are you a rock? Better than the first one. The Lounge? An early version of the Lounge. I like that one better. It's simpler. The Apartment Timer. Oh, picking up the phone or not picking up the phone. The lift looked different before. Everything looks so different. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, so it takes you to the same place. Disobey. Okay, one option. Once you get out of the lounge, you go to maintenance. There's a confusion ending. Okay. Obey or disobey and go to the lounge. Number two. Two doorways to maintenance. Disobey. Okay. And then... One option. One doorway to maintenance in the lounge and the original one back. 
And then what about this? There's a vent? It didn't have Ultra Deluxe on it? Yeah. Obey and disobey. So if we go to the lounge, then there's a vent to maintenance. We discussed it was the simplest version that won out. Okay, maybe just regular or something. Zending levers, original part of the zending. They'd pull a lever and they'd describe the color that they pulled. Interesting. Zending model. There's a button there. Huh. I am so confused by this. What is? There's so many parts to this game. Countdown desk. I'm just so lost right now. I have no idea where to go. Confusion is the one you like. Narration outtakes. Kevin Brighting, the voice. The big red button. Stanley walked over the bridge. Wow, you recorded dialogue when roughly Stanley three separate times over the two years of development. To the power source at the top of the facility to end this injustice forever. Huh. And finally, he pushed the number nine. Stanley stood on the snow. Interesting. Confusion ending is your favorite. Okay. I'm confused. Well, we went through this whole place. I don't know. I guess we haven't gone through the whole place because it would end. Maybe we just need to restart the game. That could be it. There's the war zone. Didn't go in here. Oh, we did. There's the emails. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe this is it. From left to right, the evolution from 2011, 2012, and 2013. It looks very similar. There's just a lot more stuff added each time. Yeah, we saw the back side of this area. Oh, here's the exit. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Oh, I turned it off. Can you see? Oh. Can you see how much they need one another? Hmm. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Hmm. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't, don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Huh. I wonder what would happen if we quit there. Oh, I think that's it. Okay, we'll begin the game again. This is how the wiki says to get, uh... Going through the... There's a phone ringing. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Mm. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Future Happiness is about to deliver a whole bunch of cardboard boxes here. Okay, um, go through the right door, entering the maintenance room. Go down the elevator. Cardboard boxes. Make a giant fort. New content? Okay. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Oh, we're in the Ultra Deluxe now. My loading screen. Hello, and thank you.
thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, here we go. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable game Factory Ultra Deluxe, home. a reimagining of the game oh, for dear. consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So the other oh, stuff well, must have been delightful. mostly I'm part of the base game. I'm excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. It does feel okay, like a Disney so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Watch, this is actually Half-Life 3. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally. I like that the narrator last, doesn't know what's on going to on. The new That's content. kind of fun. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if the <laughs> mostly oh, okay. tedious. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. It's like your elevator at work. Oh no. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump <gasps> circle. Jump. Oh my goodness. This is amazing, we can jump! Oh, I could not wait for this. I didn't even know- I haven't watched any promotional content for the Ultra Deluxe. I just- oh man. Aside from anything I may have seen on stream, but I don't remember- Oh wait, we can't jump anymore! We could only jump that many times? Oh, oh no. It's okay, I think we is, probably could have only it? jumped in that circle. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I'm so sad. Gosh. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? I mean, it kind of is. is. New content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now <laughs> over a thousand hours of new content. A thousand hours and of new content. Oh, he counts to 30 There's trillion. Very One. Good. Yes. One. Two, I knew there had to be three, something else. Four, Let's see it. Five. I'm ready for whatever six, it is. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I hope it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This I is what is taking a stab at all the AAA video game titles developers now. with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. This. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says it does. test achievements. I was looking Please through before ignore. I started. What quality assurance department it signed off on this? It. I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable oh my goodness it's, it's my also Stanley. making fun of the people that hate it anticipation around the new it's making content, fun of friend. everything it could never have lived up to such expectations if you're still the with keyboard me, warriors we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about no frills no gimmicks oh man just you and me having a great time together like always what do you say friend wow his mic got pretty bassy there at the end at the end. Oh, ooh, ooh. This is different. This is very different. Memories of the good old view. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. Oh, I can't uncrouch. 
Did I try to copy your voice? Okay, you remember how cheap yeah, and unsatisfying much. the new Ultra Deluxe uh, content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past my, my and how much better low. the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something so special much. It was so and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Is this Dark Just Souls? Sorry, secret. I was really close to the mic. Is this Dark Souls? Looks like, oh, it does not look I like call it Dark Souls. The memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. What game is this? Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of zone, how wonderful zone. Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. It was given to The Last of Us, but they taped over it and put Stanley Parable for that year. <laughs> oh, man. This was, honestly, this was really fun. I, I remember the hype about the Stanley Parable. I got wrapped up in it. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. I love this. 2013 on the clock. Oh my goodness, good times. This must be all the original endings. Let's begin again. He really, yeah, he is so right though. Smile because it happened, the Stanley Parable Alpha Test. Original art, memory lane, first dollar made. I wonder if that's a real dollar. I bet it is. The demonstration game. I forgot about the demo they had. It is impossible to get this achievement. Go outside, don't play for five years. This one has an achievement called don't play for ten years. Wow. Uh, new video game releasing today. 50% off designer hat. Nice. Very good nod to their other game. Steam Fortress 2. Looking at you. Deals tough choices. Oh, what's this? Oh, little Stanley, no! Oh, little hamster! Oh, 2032 is the first time someone could get the achievement. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this, this stunning like triumph of Infinite. games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James about Stephanie this Sterling one. writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every I... game ever created. The man's That's right. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It is every game it ever created. It was every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And all now... It's nothing. Uh -uh. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. I love that this is part of the new content that he's complaining about. Oh, ooh. Well, where do we... Do we go... The original... Remake? Or down the stairs? Now it's Firewatch and Rocket League? Yeah. Oh, we can't get in there. Good thing we checked, otherwise we'd always be one new person of the year. The greatest wealth is memory. Why is this all boarded up? Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've Force ever been SDK. confronted with in a game. Wow. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game Repeatable was carpet perfect. Textures. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Mm. Uh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Hello. 
I just go back? Oh, maybe I gotta <sighs> go down the maintenance tunnel. These were simpler times, Stanley. Yeah. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, I love this. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Uh, What's this? Oh, What's down here? No. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, oh. it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh, I no. can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? No, they were not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. It really, I mean, it really is, though. It is such a deep game. Oh, well, these are positive. Okay, let's okay. see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can I'm tell me if I'm preachy. Funny. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game. Oh, I'm it sure there's a lot of fluff. And airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. Uh -huh. I feel like a failure. Like Aww. I let these people down. Well, you did. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. True. What's this one got Ten to say? Ten hours on record and still not recommended. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Oh, poor narrator. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley uh -oh. Parable. That's my motto today, oh boy. and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. I don't want to skip the it now. Been asking for, I don't want I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. I love the listening to ramble on and on and on. No, 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 no. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue, and it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what happened, <laughs> and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until <laughs> inevitably, we all until the end of time, He's making at which time himself. everything all at once, so, now you see, now it's turning into Kyle is famous. We've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working this backwards, is amazing. the deduction it's like we've all had a is stroke. impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten thousand years until just yesterday. We all had a stroke, and, and, and this and is what it is now. Before lunchtime, it can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say. The story I know, and, the and we, we are happened. so much like that. It's like Joey's writing speech is friends, it totally is. Until inevitably, we all until the end of time. Yeah, which time that's how we all wants. are though, isn't so, it? Now we you focus see, so blah, much blah, on the blah, negative blah, blah, and not the positive. Blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until okay, 245. So he's looping.
Yeah. He might be doing random <laughs> stuff, but... <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. He's doing it of course, again. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a this rumination is so good. and more of a treatise. I love it. Oh, We're gonna have to skip him. He's gonna go on forever, and now he's gonna no, get offended. I'll outline it for you very briefly, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory Except is that, this that is any me. choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will Don't be make him at mad. the time of All having right. made said choice. I, that's true. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into Don't being, make him sad. then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person hmm. you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your Greek gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? Mm -hmm. You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once, that you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time, by virtue of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Very Schrodinger. Okay, first, I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to Yeah, it. not quite but a whole manifesto thing. wouldn't you say that manifesto thing. just has a much grander sort of tone? It, it has does. a mouthfeel that is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history, if you will. Oh. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, look, I have a method for exactly this sort of situation, and I do find myself in this situation frequently. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other, in which no. case the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. Hey, it might not it be such a bad way to go. It is an strategy, Stanley. It's rescued me from disaster in countless situations. All right. Here we go. Treatise. Treatise. Manifesto. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit. I did, it? indeed. But that's the power of the button. The button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it it's oh, right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oof. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. I to be wonder honest, if they I did. don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how He's Steam rambling works. again. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. That is a Although good place I to start. To imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review. Right, because so Steam the makes exceptions. Is abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. You something think the along the lines of change? this I don't game think it is will. the best game. Hmm. Let me start over. How about this? From the from the ashes of oh, depravity. Wait. Rises is it moving? The Phoenix of it is moving. How else to describe oh, this the is a working clock. Ultra Deluxe? It's not correct. Such a revolutionary but the step is forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media. I mean, that made. is a it pretty is ostentatious review. No mistakes are forever etched in stone, for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted, offering a message of hope to those who have ever erred in their judgment. You are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. How long do you guys want to listen to this? To be taken from the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this. What a fortune. A privilege. A joy it is you know to I'm have do. had such I'm gonna an listen to the whole thing. It leaves me then I'm gonna copy this. As a community, and as I'm gonna a post world, this as my review. There is time for us to become our greatest this. selves. As great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Wow. Now, Stanley, that's a review. It's 
It's perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect review. It's the review I... Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe... 30, 30 45, 45 minutes. minutes? It's not unendurable oh, yeah, by it any was. means, but it's... Well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait. How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite Sound design's really there good. Was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. I'm just gonna wait for the Stanley, building to degrade. Stanley, Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Aww. Just sitting here. Not a single person. To Man, speak. I feel really bad for the narrator that that's now. Just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Hey, yeah, but what hearing somebody listen to you. Exactly the same as always. Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking, but it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close because I know you, you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what mm. I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Like. I needed there to be a, a vessel through which my words were <laughs> moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else mm. is taking it in. These words that I'm He's saying, I need to know you. I feel hear that. Me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. That's what it feels maybe like to stream to zero viewers, by the way. If anybody has thought, if, if any of you have thought about streaming yeah. or starting yeah. YouTube, that's the Perhaps I've been the lonely journey time. at the beginning. If I stop speaking. I'll slip no backwards one. into the silence and be consumed by it. And you just gotta keep I can't talking. Be taken by it, but it's not awkward when someone joins your stream and watches you in silence for five minutes before you, you notice and then start talking. You're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far yeah, away. And that's in those tough. moments, the emptiness folds itself outward. But at least the air is listening. Us. All right, let's collapse the rest of this building. Get out of here. Stanley. Oh, it's hello. been 40 you're, you're years. years. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you like ever Inception. sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Just Let did. me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. Mm. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. The months, clock stopped working. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the Lance past. That's completely dead. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse the of, end of every time? moment yeah, I maybe. have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a single instant. In that How was instant, it? I could see myself. And what clearly, did you see? Calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossible. He just he does know how to ramble on. This game is so well written. Simultaneously, I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity. For what I now know was far less. You see, it was a revelation. For There's no narrator. Oh, he sniffled. Oh no. Is that the smoke alarm? Clock fell off the wall. Kind of annoying.
But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are and the jokes? Going. Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They going. gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. It wasn't enough. He's they rambling. had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's, he's talking been, too he's much. Been on they said, that for First, years. he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We he's get just, these demands oh, that he's seek ranting. everything and are accountable to... He's ranting. Someone's got to stop him. Wow, this is kind of a dark ending. A man spiraling, focusing on the negative until the end of time, all alone. The end is never 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 the end I don't think he's okay is never the end 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 is Oh man Narrator. We're here, buddy. Here. Oh, okay. Now we can get out, I think. Maybe? No, not quite. One more. Two more? A couple more? You guys hear something? Sounded like something. Oh, this is like Portal Two now. The narrator's gone. He's totally gone. I'm gonna have to wait for a tree to grow up out of here. Okay. Post-apocalyptic winter? Nuclear winter, anybody? What was that? What is that? I'm hoping it's just a hover car going by on a highway. Is the alternate? Uh oh. Okay, well, we can get out now. Do we want to? Without the narrator, it's kind of empty. Yeah, you, you missed a lot. They implemented a skip button. But I don't know if they should have implemented a skip button. Not all ideas are good ideas. Well, which way do we go? We out here. Guess we just go. Wow, look at that sky, though. Beautiful. Let's follow- Go in the direction with the sand, thanks. Oh. Whoa, what an ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, that was the new content. Oh, a floof. Oh, two floofs. Playing. Beep. I can't make that high pitched a sound. Well, that was quite the new con- NEW NEW CONTENT! Oh good, 
you notice my sign. Yes, that's what we're I here have for. Very exciting to show you. Okay. What's up, Kronos? Lord definitely wasn't late because you were distracted talking to your sister. Have stuff to do, so have a great night and have a great rest of the stream. Ah, oh, welcome. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you for the lurk. Oh, we didn't have to go through the whole thing again. Can they just unlock jumping for you the see, whole Stanley, thing, please? I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark. Can we have a cat cam stream? Content yeah. For it should live up to that legacy. I'm down. So forget this ultra deluxe cat nonsense. Cam music. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Wow. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, mm -hmm. there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. Investor showcase. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Taste the sequel. <laughs> Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's is an artistic area. statement right there. It's future just oriented. The two of us. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising wow. potential. What is this? Southern California with these frameless double glass doors that are really easy to break into? That's definitely a MacBook with a raven on it. Did I cut him off? I didn't mean to. Look at all this promotional material. Can I can I use this? No? Okay. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's Give take a look at some of the features I've been developing yeah. for. Yeah. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. <laughs> I It'll took the red work marker. itself out. Game development Looking is much you, more Disney. of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific yeah, or logical, real. really. Sequels are good. That red thing is glowing a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Uh, new content, new features. Okay, well, there's a bus in here. That's different. Wow, it looks like a uh, it looks like a release that just flopped. Here we are. Go oh. on, try out some of the new features. I will. Thank you. Please no screenshot. The baby's all grown up. Oh my goodness. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. Shaders. Schween shaders. New features, new content, new ideas. The new updated ray traced more of the same but in a good way sequel to the original. Red is the new orange. A whole new office. Dude, why is this every game that's come out in the last few years? This right here. Oh, I agree with all of this. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. That sounds fun. Let's let's go in there. I'm for it. I like this content. I like this a lot. This is so fun. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Oh, right. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? That is quite wonderful. How does it work? How does it know? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But imagine course, you were streaming game, this, this and your name was Jim. Your name, whatever name that is. Like, imagine yeah, my real name was Jim, and I walked up and I was like, oh, it'll be fun. Experience of this feature. 
just play along. I promise you'll love it. Like I'm just okay, like bopping along. Let's like maybe it'll look breath, at my user folder and mind, it'll say ASDF gaming, and, and that would be really fun. A person named Jim. And then I you walk you up and it's like yourself, Jim. And I'm like sleeping and waking. Uh, as Jim. Falling Excuse in me. love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh, poor Jim. Do you feel it deeply? I am. Are you really, I, truly Jim right now? I am really, truly so, Jim. Then please step forward and press the button. Are you guys ready? Jim. <laughs> ah, yes, hey, see, it's my name. Thrill, what a rush. That was you. Wow. The button described you. I do lived again, this whole again. life. Went through all its ups and downs, it and it's that's even my harder name. the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. <laughs> Honestly, kind of. break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Yeah, me too. Man, it, being Jim is hard. Oh, there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you Jim. actually Jim. are. Jim, Jim, Jim. Oh, maybe the other buttons will do it. Maybe we can go under the stage and see if we can find the gym button. I like that when you try to do something, it makes a key click sound. In another nine years, the Stanley Parable 2 actually comes out. Honestly, this is enough info. This is enough new content to warrant a second game. I'm glad it was. I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable Glad they did it the way they did it. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Reassurance bucket. I want to see what the reassurance bucket is. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Well, that was the it point. It engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, that was the point. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Oh, it's up there. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. Oh, I want like that. Wow. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions oh. of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps... Even comforting. I like that. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Hmm. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. <laughs> Can you imagine what a pain in the ass? Hey, that watch your profanity. Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> oh. Can you yes. feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just I love it, it has made you the slightest Rip bit more money, he said a bad a word. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Yes, I feel so calm. I love. Can I Does take this forever? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a There's video merch. game? There's merch. That really should be an award if it isn't already. There's merch. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done plugging my merch in these ones. We already started this stream. The button that says the name. The the bucket. Office decorations. Oh, hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Get Well Someday. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Uh. Happy 12th Birthday, step niece it is. Well... You're welcome for helping you. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. The new and easy achievement. Free achievement. Get it here. I want a free achievement. 
Okay. Get yours right now. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. It just works. Ah, oh, that sounds now, good. Here's uh -oh. something special. You this remember looks that broken test achievement dark. that got left in the game on accident? Yeah. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Oh, yes. Okay. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will oh, be given 76. to you. Oh, 76. It just works. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully no. broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. But Never I accept this achievement from strangers. To at hey, last hey. satisfy the hordes of ravenous you fans all over the world who have been uproariously I have them in my van. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. Back in the day when you could buy them, where you could get the save card and then copy it to your save card and then boom, you got all the achievements. Come on, come on, come on. Free van achievements. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's go to the jump circle. Maybe we can like jump up here or something. This bucket is so nice. I love the bucket. Very nice. But only okay, but only if they're for the Xbox. Hey, what's up, Helen? What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? The jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Star Wars jumps, though. Two as well. It's a oh, wait. This you is already spent bucket. all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose <laughs> wait, it can just be a nice more. decorative piece no. then. Oh, I want more jumps. Give me my jumps back. I used them all. I didn't know. I didn't know. Wow, that's some cool promotional art. Is that the narrator's narrator? Oh, that's There's an exit. Collectibles. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find... It doesn't have... Collect them all. Oh. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, the music for Talos Principle? gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Or the I witness? don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. What is this? A collectathon, Stanley Parable. We got one of six. We can't go back in there anymore. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely Is tragic. that one of them? Can we collect this guy right here? Nah, I don't think we can. I don't see any more though. The only thing we haven't done is infinite hole and epilogue we haven't seen yet. So the infinite hole, so the epilogue is up there and the infinite hole is this way, so. Wow, look at this. All I have to do is hold these two buttons and I walk forward, that's cool. Oh, upstairs, that's probably where the settings world champ is. So we'll go to the infinite hole which may or may not be an end to this. Opening, surrounding area, depth, infinite. Okay. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. There was a way up though, because I don't want to jump in the hole if it'll end this run. Because it took a while to get here, so. Base, I've been doing really well, thank you. Oh, it's blocked off. I should have looked up first. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Uh, it, was, it was nice having, it's, it's been a while actually since you've been here. Uh, since before the week off, I feel like. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see busy, the yeah. Hole, it was so nice taking a week off and coming back, though. To pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. 
Press G to return to the surface. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Hmm. Interesting. Is the Stanley Parable a roguelike? Oh, I hope not. Imagine. Imagine this, but randomized somehow with a goal and challenges. No, thank you. Okay, so now we're, we need to go upstairs to the settings thing. Settings world champion. Here we go. Love the bucket. Well, can't get in there apparently. I need the settings world champion thing first. That's new. All right, we can kill our own music. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, oh. uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to the exit now. Which is over here, I believe. We're here, we're going to... E. E for exit. Uh, There is no... Oh, E is back this way. Right? If I'm here looking at the map, then I need to go back and to the left to get to the exit. Here's the exit. Yes. The end of the new, new content. But I wonder if there's going to be new, new, new content after this. I love all this. Right. Is so Have you seen cool. Everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Look at all this promotional art. Is that the G-Man? Or- oh no, that's probably Stanley. Wow. Wow, ooh. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Uh -huh. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> well, that's very accurate. Okay. Are you it's ready? Very accurate. Here it is. Uh -huh. I'm impressed. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, there's a collectible. I need that. Um, there's well, um, a bunch of... I mean, there's there's four, potential four? here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. I need Hold those. On. Let me I, do need, a I only have one of six. I need those. Oh. oh. Yes. yes. Binding of Stanley. Risk of Stanley 2. Here we go. Version 2. Enter the <sighs> Stanley. Who am I kidding? That Stanley? sounds weird, though. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. What are other good roguelites? I wanted more than anything to create a sequel Stan that would capture ladies, all the magic of the Stan first game. Ladies. I wanted fans that, to that, love that it. No matter right. how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe, maybe that's, that's it. it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. Uh -huh. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna add it on to work? it. I suppose it could. But like it would some need kind a really, of, really tremendous title like screen. Like an ultra, a like a deluxe version of the game. Like, an, like an improved version of the game. This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Just whip something up real quick. Just right, whip perfect. it up. Go ahead. Take a look. I'm looking. Dude, that was it. That was so cool. I love it. Look at this. This is so cool. I really do love this. This is the story of a and man. There's a named skip Stanley. button now. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building Look at where this. he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. 
the balloons. This is probably where it would have started if we said we had played the original already. Orders came to him through a monitor. Uh, it probably would have gone straight to the new content door. How long to push them, and in what order? This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others, no, I think the music is new. Hunting, Stanley relished every moment that the balloons are new. As though he had been made exactly for this. Actually, project. the third party is new. Stanley or the, the third person happy. view is new. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Never quite. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not well, I one think it was single order had arrived on the monitor. It was this for him view, right? In the original? No Something one like that? showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, let's do the... Oh, the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. Let's do the... Uh... Oh, why is there a thing there now? Let's do the confusion ending with the bucket. Then we'll mosey. So lead me through it. What do I do? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Go the right door, maintenance this room. I go down the elevator. Room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. I don't think I have the maintenance option. It and might be past here, right? That the bucket turned out to be correct was in a. Up mind. the left door, yeah, 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 got it. Stanley took it was the, the one that we hadn't done yet. To go back to and so the two of them detoured through the maintenance okay, section and, then and walked straight ahead Instead of to going the back door. to the regular pass, we go down the elevator. Okay, yep. Got it. Yeah, this was on the to-do list too, so I'm glad, I'm glad you reminded me. Oh, good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. They didn't do a very good job with you the see, screws in the drywall. I mean, look at how close those are together. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying Would around Would you like everywhere. a bucket? The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before this might be different yes, because I'm we're the holding the bucket. the bucket but you're spending too much time with it don't you want another story involving the adventure line we could make the adventure line go somewhere new yes yes that's what the fans want let's do it the adventure line oh we got back in the broom closet mostly probably because we have a bucket I think Whee! this is different. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, good. It's different enough from now, the regular this opera. This is what the Stanley Parable is all about. But it probably Don't you won't remember get all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> What? It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the okay. fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No. Don't make me give up my bucket. Don't prepare me for that. No. No, 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 no. Don't no. you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. No, That's no, why no, I'm no, very no, no. Proud this is the only thing keeping me sane. This is the bucket destroyer oh no oh oh i think bucket. it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the stanley parable true it also was not in the original game but it's such a well fleshed out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along don't you agree oh i like my Can you bucket. guess what the bucket destroyer does 
Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket. This is and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Worse than getting rid of the companion cube. Hi, bucket. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your I can't bucket. give it. I'm Destroying trying. I'm trying to give it to it. It, it just won't. That is its singular oh, personality no. trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket when Destroyer, to give it up, you'd see just, that its desire to crush Bucket buckets fighter. is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The Broom Closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Hey, Quickly watch your now, language. the fans are watch waiting. Do it, now. the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... I shouldn't have been standing that close. That's on me. Now this is a merch opportunity right here. The Bucket Destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Magnificent. Got to go to bed. All right, Helmet, thanks for coming around. Well, thanks guys for tuning in to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, also known as the Stanley Parable 2. Also known as most of today was the Stanley Parable 1, but we got to experience some of the new content. So we'll be picking this up next week. Hopefully you'll come back for that one as well. And uh, yeah, I guess as always, thanks for coming. If you'd consider dropping a like and subscribing, I would certainly appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.